Good morning everyone, Louise here. If you've been watching my gratitude series, you'll have already watched three videos, an introductory video and two videos about gratitude and about how our patterns of thinking, feeling and behaviour can interrupt the flow of your energy. I hope that those videos made that clear. But today I wanted to discuss another way of how, of how we as individuals can interrupt the flow of, grat uh, flow of things, good things coming towards us. When we receive things, and I know it's quite common amongst women, but when we receive things, mo a lot of people immediately are very grateful for that, but then immediately think of ways that they can repay a favour or a, a gift by giving back immediately. What we don't realise when we do that, when we say, thank you, that's, you don't need to do that, thank you, I didn't, I didn't need you to do that, or what can I do for you in return? When we do that, what we're actually do, doing is interrupting the flow of abundance coming towards us because without realising it, we are telling the universe that we don't want it because we're wanting to bat something back. So it's not really gratitude. Gratitude is where you can receive and be grateful without automatically thinking how you can repay someone back or how you can do someone else a favour in return. Because if someone gives you something with a full and open heart, they want to give that to you. They want you, you to, they want, they're wanting to make you happy or feel worth while or they want to show their gratitude to you for who you are and by giving back immediately you're batting that back you're dismissing it so rather than go really really deep into the thought the feeling and all that that i've done over the last few videos i just thought that this morning i would ask for a card to help me explain what I'm trying to explain. And the card I got, I always pick the fairy de deck when I have a difficult situation and um, they never disappoint. And the card I got was Indy. Now, if you look at that card, to me it's very similar to the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is a, a person sort of juggling two pennies and there's this, an in, infinity symbol encompassing the two pennies, which is sort of a balanced thing. But Indy, to me, is slightly different. If you look, there's a, there's a small ball in the one hand and then there's a large ball in the other hand. It's about balance, but it's also about, to me, it's telling us to look at what we have and make that bigger. Be, gra be grateful to make, you know, be grateful for what you do have. Make what you do have bigger in your heart and in your mind. But it's also about cherishing what you are given. Cherishing the favours that people do do for you. Without instantly feeling the need to give back or conjuring up ways or thinking of ways that you can give back instantly because that's not gratitude, that's guilt and guilt is a very low vibrational emotion. When someone gives you something and you're used to being the one that's the giver, particularly women, you, you, you go out to work, you'll cut your children, you clean the house. Mainly, it's, it's mainly a task of women, especially women of my age in the 50s. We're still in that old-fashioned mindset where it's, it's not an equal division of labour. 
um, and then when someone does something for you, you will automatically feel as though you feel guilty that someone has given you something or someone has done you a favour without you having to ask for it. And then you feel guilty. You feel as though you're not, you you failed somehow because you've received help without asking for it. And lots of women in my age group don't tend to ask for help because you don't want to feel like a failure or that you you don't want to feel helpless um so so the card indie tells me to just make what you do have bigger and when you are given something just be in the moment and accept the gift without trying to conjure up ways to give back because that is not gratitude, that's guilt. And then I got a new deck of cards called Postcards from Spirit by Colette Baron Reed. And that's the box. And it's not a sort of tarot deck or anything like that. It's just there are, there are several postcards with sort of messages on. So the messages have to be read out. So the idea is that you'd pick yourself a card at time in the times when you um, you're wanting some guidance or you just want to have a play about, and you pick a card for the day, and whatever the card is is your card for the day for you to ponder on. And um, I shuffled the deck, and I cleansed the deck, and I meditated on the deck. All the usual things that I usually do before I even throw a card out on the table and this one came out and I'm gonna read it to you this postcard here and it says dearest you sometimes it's wonderful to give but there might be, but you might find yourself over giving now, as soon as I read that first line, I thought, wow, can't make this up. And this card is the impetus for this video because I couldn't have said it any better. So sometimes it's wonderful to give, but there are times when you might find yourself over giving. Now might be a good time to check in and see where you might be cutting off the flow of abundance. Let others give to you, even if you are more comfortable being generous and being the giver, the healer, the rescuer. In the art of living, we sometimes overlook an important skill, receiving gracefully and with gratitude, without diminishing yourself or trying to deny vulnerability or bringing an agenda of equality into it. Receiving is hard for some people. That might be you. You do not need a this for that in your exchange. You are doing good in the world. Let the world give back and support you. Then you can give up the old stories that you, that you have convinced that you convinced you have to do everything alone with no help. Let your well be filled. I couldn't have said that any better without sitting down and I mean this is something that I was thinking about last night and it came to me as soon as I woke up this morning and I just sort of thought I'm going to do a card because I don't know how to express this and I don't really plan what I'm going to say I might make bullet points I've not made any notes at all because I just knew that I had to just do this switch the machine on and just say what I had to say and just trusted that whatever cards came out would help me articulate what is on my mind. So the exercise for today, should you wish to take this mission up, is to look around you 
think of all the ways that you receive from others. Look at them as gifts from the universe. And just feel enormous gratitude. And the moment you start to think how you can repay that favour or that you can give somebody back, I want you to say stop. Because this card says it all when it said, oh, where are we? Something about, I'll read it again. Sometimes it's wonderful to give, but there are times you might find yourself over giving. Now might be a good time to check in and see where you might be cutting off the flow of abundance. Let others give to you, even if you are more comfortable being generous and being the giver, the healer, the rescuer. In the art of living, we sometimes look, overlook an important skill, receiving gracefully and with gratitude, without diminishing yourself or trying to deny vulnerability or bringing an agenda of equality to it. Receiving is hard for some people. That may be you. You do not need a this for that in your exchange with others. You are doing good in the world. Let the world give back and support you. Let the world give back and support you. So before you go straight to the usual, what can I do in return? Think, no, this is the world giving me back for all the times I give and I don't expect anything back. Because when people give you things, mostly people give you things or do you favours because they don't expect anything back. They don't do it because they expect something back. They do it for the joy of giving. And giving and receiving is a two-way street. Think about that one. Have a good day.